Hey everyone! So recently I've had a couple of people asking me about my mushroom collection and whether I can show it to everyone in a video. So that's what I'm going to do, but before I begin, I am quite certain that I will have left some things out because I have so many that I just wouldn't be able to remember all of them, but I've tried my best to gather them all up. And this is also excluding any pictures or paintings or things that are stuck on the wall that I have of mushrooms. So I think first I will show you my real mushrooms and then I will show you all of the other mushroom things. I have this jar of bracket fungi, which still counts as mushrooms I think. So yeah, it's dried by the way. I dry the majority of my mushrooms. I have this little jar with the ink cap, but it's just kind of the inky remains of it because they auto digest so basically they go all inky and it's like how they break down i don't really know how to explain i have this jar with just lots of different types of mushrooms that are all dried because i just i didn't know where to put them so i put them all in here <laughs> i have this one and it has no gills which is really cool and next i have some dried yellow staining mushrooms yeah, I think there's three. Three? Yeah. This one, it's just an agaricus earth star, which is a type of puffball. And yeah, I, I found it already dried, which is pretty cool. This jar of just lots of little small dried mushrooms. I'm not actually sure what kind these are. I've been trying to figure it out for a while, but I still don't really know. This little jar of mushrooms. These mushrooms which are preserved in alcohol. I also have a preserved shaggy ink cap. Now this is not very attractive the way that I prepared it, but it's preserved, that's the main thing. Yeah, you can see there's like all spores and different matter that's drifted to the bottom and it's all yellow and it's all floaty and sideways but I did try to dry this but it was the whole thing was a bit of an experiment because I know that trying to dry ink caps is practically impossible because even if you've dried it it'll still digest itself because it actually makes it happen faster what this one started to do so I'm like oh quick preserve it so I did because I just ink caps are my favorite mushrooms and I just wanted one so this was my means of keeping it. I have this jar of dried mushrooms, it's sort of an assortment. At the bottom I have some puffballs, like really little ones with stalks. Then I have, I don't know, just other different kinds of smaller ones on top. Just little shop mushrooms actually. My brother gave them to me so I dried them. They're little orange ones. They look quite different dried compared to when they're alive and in the ground but there they are. I have this little tube of really really tiny mushrooms. You can see there's three in there one. and it's in this thing so it kind of stands up better. I also have this little one, this little one, and there. These really really tiny baby ones that my friend gave me that were growing on some wood. Okay, so now for mushrooms that are not real. We have this one which is made out of polymer clay and it's a fly agaric mushroom or Amanita muscaria. <laughs> this one which is based off of magic mushrooms that um, an ex-friend made me. And it's a Psilocybe subbrangianosa. I can never pronounce it, I know I've said that wrong, but I'm sure you get what I mean. One, it's just yeah. ones which again are not real, they just look real. Next I have some wooden mushrooms, so I have this one, this one, this one, and I have one, and this one. These ones which I got from an op shop for like three dollars. This one which I got as a present for celebrating my first art exhibition a while ago. These ones which are from my mum that I got for Christmas a while ago and they light up when you plug them in. They change colours and they go like purple, and yellow, orange, green and all these cool colours. Um, and this is a little clip-on mushroom earring that my friend bought me. This is my most favourite thing ever. I'd show it to you lit up but I can't get past all the mushroom stuff and I need to plug it in and it's just it. I have this mushroom solar light but I keep it in my room because I don't want it outside because 
because I want to be able to see and I don't want it getting damaged and stuff even though like it's meant to be outside. Obviously it doesn't really light up very very well because it's not outside getting the sun but it's pretty cool. Next I have this big mushroom tin and it's from my sister. Next I have this mushroom patch which I need to stitch onto something. I don't know what yet. I'm thinking this jacket actually because it has this whole mushroom theme going on which I'll show you in a moment. This was like five dollars from Happy High Herbs. While we're here I'll show you my jacket. So I have these two little mushroom brooches and then I have this one and then I have this little one and this one. I have this mushroom and it's also a pen. Mushroom bauble. I also have more of these but they are up there on the wall and I don't really want to take them down. Next I have three mushroom erasers slash pencil sharpeners. They are here. Sorry about the contrast. And as you can see they're also pencil sharpeners. This knitted felty mushroom that I think it was used for lighters or something like that. I have these mushrooms. This one. This one. And pretty much all of my mushroom stuff I've gotten from other people, which is pretty cool. I have this cute clay mushroom that my girlfriend bought for me and then she wrote a really cute message on the top. Origami mushrooms that a friend made me. This glass mushroom. This big mushroom. These mushrooms. There's, there's that one. And there's spots glow in the dark, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's the other one. Little ones. And they're a bit dirty because they were stuck in a pot plant. I also have this mushroom which was like a little toy and I think it was used as a stool for some dolls but I got to keep it. Then I have this little Lego mushroom. This mushroom magnet. Mushroom magnet. This mushroom magnet. <laughs> and this one. This mushroom salt shaker. I need to fix it because it broke but it goes like that but I need to glue it back together. This wooden mushroom, ex-friend, gave this to me. She actually made it and I still love it so much. It's kind of like something you'd see in a fairy tale book or something. It's really cool. This, this pretty, pretty mushroom. Look at his cool nose and his eyes. And no, he isn't stoned. He has that face on because the nails in his cap. My most favorite, favorite mushroom. It's amazing. Mushroom pin which goes with the bigger one that I showed you before and it also has all of these mushrooms in it. Mushroom canister thing? I don't know what you call it. It's like a, a cookie jar or something. I don't know, but it's, it's cool. Please excuse the mess. This is just because of all the mushrooms being moved around. But I also have my mushroom wall, which I'm sure you've all seen before. Framed picture of a mushroom. I didn't draw it, it was just a photocopy out of a book and then I cut it out and stuck it in there. And yeah. And then I have this mushroom with a fairy sitting on it. This plush mushroom that my mum gave me years ago. I was probably 10 or 11 and yeah it's pretty pretty cool and it also has these knitted mushrooms. These are actually sewed onto a bike rack and it's like this creative street art graffiti thing that people do. I've also seen some on buses, but they're flowers, but I thought it was really cool and I really liked the idea, but they were mushrooms and I just had to have them. So a friend cut them off of the bike rack for me. Well, someone was gonna take them eventually, so it may as well have been me. Mushroom plaque thing made of plaster that I got from Plaster Fun House and I actually coloured it in with texture and then I glazed it. Sorry about that contrast, but eh. this mushroom bowl thing. Yeah, there we go. I keep all of my cuffs and goggles and stuff in it. Mushroom box, which I decorated. And it has mushrooms on the side as well. Then I have some mushroom writing paper. And inside it's just the same thing. This mushroom picture of this mushroom picture. I I didn't draw either of them, they just came like this. These two mushroom plates and they're pretty cute. This mushroom gravy boat. It's, it's huge. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. 
Next I have some mushroom books. So I have Mushrooms Demystified. A lot of people who are into mushrooms have this book and I don't blame them because it's amazing. Edible fungi. Poisonous fungi. Mushrooms and toadstools in colour. This is on the Kombuka fungus. It's, it's just this, this fungus thing that people drink and it's meant to be really really good for you and it makes you like live longer and all this stuff it's pretty cool a field guide to the larger fungi of the darling scarp and southwest of western australia this book on mushrooms fungi introductory mycology a complete encyclopedia of mushrooms full color book of mushrooms and fungi mushrooms and toadstools and how to identify them a mushroom tea set comes with a teapot the lid is missing because it's second hand milk pourer then I have the sugar um, pot thing. I have a giant mushroom plate and then I have a little mushroom pendant. We also have this mushroom table sheet thing which I just keep on my chair like such. That's pretty much my mushroom collection. Sorry this was so long, I just, I don't know how else to fit it all in. But yeah, thank you for watching. Bye!